Yeah, Narmeen, protesters have been calling for defunding of the NYPD for weeks. And now some city council members, like you said, are looking for a $1 billion budget cut to the NYPD. But some of the people we spoke with here in Fresh Meadows aren't on board. We do need the police, but we also need good police. Jeremiah Gibson of Fresh Meadows thinks a billion dollar cut is too much. But that is what City Council Speaker Corey Johnson and other city council members are calling for and issued this statement. We believe that we can and should work to get $1 billion in cuts to New York City's police spending in the fiscal 2021 budget, an unprecedented reduction that would not only limit the scope of the NYPD, but also show our commitment towards moving away from the failed policing policies of the past. Mayor de Blasio says he's committed to shifting resources to benefit youth, but says defunding of the NYPD will be done in a way that does not compromise the safety of New Yorkers. A spokesman telling PIX11, quote, the mayor has said we're committed to reprioritizing funding and looking for savings, but he does not believe a $1 billion cut is the way to maintain safety. Funding cut from the NYPD would be spent elsewhere helping to fund social services and programs in disadvantaged communities. The push for cuts comes as a protest movement asking for racial justice, including cuts to the NYPD budget, has been marching across the city for the 17th day in the wake of the deaths of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor. Daquan Livingston isn't sure if drastic cuts are the answer. They move quick when you make phone calls, 911 phone calls, you know, NYPD, they come, they come quick. Governor Cuomo signed an executive order today saying that police departments need to sit down with communities and adopt reform plans by April 1st or they won't be eligible for state funding. In Fresh Meadows, Rob Hoyle, PIX11 News. Narmeen.